this is my build of a Congreve clock. I've taken the design from a build by John Wilding, which he showed in Constructive Quarterly, September 2006. Although the chassis of the clock is similar to John's, the similarity stops there. Mechanically, my clock is very different. The most important thing is that I don't use a winding system. I just have the clock being driven directly from the motor. It's a very small motor, an N30. It takes very low power, only one third of a watt. It takes 30 milliamps every 10 seconds, and that translates to 3 milliamps. The build of the table is different from John's. I've positioned the rails flat, horizontal, just because I think it looks better. And the corners of the table I have simplified. There's no need for strange parts like poles. John's clock needed 14 poles, which I don't know how many Meccano constructors would own. I certainly don't. And my corners are just built from normal curved strips. They are bent slightly more to a tighter radius using my strip bender. There are no bolts in the path of the ball and it runs smoothly around the corners. I'm using a heavy one inch steel ball. It runs smoothly and has a fair amount of momentum to get through the table and to operate the switches at each end. At the Levers at each end of the table operate micro switches which latch a relay that provides power to the motor. The drive reel turns half a turn and then another micro switch unlatches the relay. The drive reel does two things. It tilts the table and it also is the drivetrain for the clock. The drive wheel turns half a revolution every 10 seconds. There's a 3 to 1 gear pair which means that the second hand revolves once every minute. The going train is quite simple. From the second hand we have 5 to 1, 3 to 1 and 2 2 to 1s which gives us a reduction of 60 to drive the minute hand. And then to drive the hour hand, there is a three to one, two two to ones, and then a pair of 57 tooth gears, which gives us the correct four hole spacing we need to drive the hour hand.
The dials of the Congreve clock are quite strange. For a start, there's three separate dials, uh, seconds on the right, minutes in the middle, hours on the left. And the other strange thing about the dials is the way that the numbers are oriented. You'll see that the numbers at the bottom of the dial are upside down as the numbers are arranged radially. Normally in a clock all the numbers will be arranged vertically and the right way up. That's how Mr. Congreve did it, so that's how I've done it here. I'd also like to thank my wife for drawing the dials. I couldn't do that, so thank you. Now the clock is not accurate. The originals weren't accurate. Uh, they were prized for the uh, visual value of the clock rather than their good timekeeping. Apparently the Congreve clock could uh, be out by 15 minutes a day, which is not very good. I really don't know how close my clock is as it doesn't really matter that much in this case. Okay, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.